All right, I just got a kit for the Pathfinder 2017. Um, new, new fog lights. Looks pretty cool. Got a wiring diagram right here. Try laying out this uh, wiring harness here. Kind of hard to do with one hand. YouTubers make it look all easy and stuff. Kit. There's the button for the inside. There, you got a connector for it. All right, here's the wiring harness. I'm gonna unravel it so I can get my bearings of it. There's the power cord. That's the mounting gear. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's a very complete kit. I like it. Relay switch, fuse. Get this thing out of this plastic bag by one hand. I'm telling you, I can do it. connection base right here H11 12 volt 55 watt pretty dang good looking yeah taking a video of it girl <laughs> Camera shy. No, because she's flashing in my eyeball. Oh, okay. Right, yeah, another quality piece. Got the dust covers right there. Right, there you go. Each 11, 12 volt, 55 watt. Very good condition. Brand new. Are you taking a bed here? Yep. So we are setting up for the fog light <laughs> installation. This 2017 Pathfinder. Oh, there's Janessa. Hey, Janessa. As you can see, they got the stock plates on it. There's stock fog light housing. Got brand new ones right here. Let's cut out. A wiring diagram, very good. And all the rest of the tools I need. All right, let's see what we can do. After studying these clips, looks like the only way to get at them is from the inside of the bumper. Let's go there. Do, 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 do. Sorry about the poor lighting, guys. This is my first time ever recording any of this stuff I do. But there's the back side of the housing. I'm gonna have to go back at it somehow to get to the clips. If I can position this somewhere down there. So I can actually 
get some video of it. Not lose my phone at the same time. So, hopefully. So looking at the position again, I think I can go from underneath right there. Remove that panel and I'll gain access to it a lot better. In order to do so, I'm gonna have to go underneath there. And the stock height is pretty it's okay, but I need to jack it up. After looking around carefully, finally found the correct jack point. Yeah. I always look for the correct jack point right there. I guess if you do it right there, that metal folds and you're just SOL if it falls. Right there, it's reinforced. Make sure the head of the jack is right in the middle of there. And you're good to go. Do, 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 do. All right, lock the jacking and continue on. Too much you don't want to break it off of there oh, there we go just enough room to get underneath with the creeper z creeper that is don't worry they're not the z creeper what can i see ah, <laughs> take two the z creeper it's a creeper and a c but they're not sponsoring this video. Not at all. Look out. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we gotta get underneath this hood or underneath the bumper with the Z Creeper. I'll get you some Get screw all those. Daddy. Right there. Daddy, I'll get you some screwdrivers. And all those. Right there. I gotta take this whole entire splash panel off so I can get to the back of those harnesses. So I can take it off and move with it. Just like so. Just take that like that. Bing! Alright! Now I gotta do it 10 million more times. What? Yeah. I gotta do it 10 million times. 10 million more times. I'm not even sure where I'm aiming this dang thing. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Careful with that. Okay. Don't ding the paint. Um, the yeah. owner, your mama, would be very, very upset with you. And she'd be upset with me. You mean both of us? Yep. With both of us. We don't. Anyway, we really don't want that. All right. <laughs> Anyways, back to this. See? Pretty easy. Now I just gotta do a million other more. Alright. See you in a bit. Ow. <laughs> Ow! I'm okay! I'm weak. I'm okay! Alright, I'm sorry. It's kind of hard to get footage for this, but I'm only using crappy HTC uh, phone and I don't have enough money for a GoPro so it will have to do <sighs> either a million and one plugs to take off just to get to this access shield and clear whatever you want to call this damn thing splash shield whatever Anyway. Uh oh, damn it, just broke it. <sighs> nope, it just means I'm gonna have to buy a new one. You mean a new car? No, not a new car because I just busted one of the plug thingies. Come on now, you're silly.
Alright. Is this thing on? Right down here. Right orientation. Oh, I got one less. And I can actually get into there. And that one is right there. Get this thing out of the way. Wish I had a GoPro. That would be easy. Well, right. Well, looks like I have a couple other things I need to get out of the way, which is this thing right here. So this is what I'm continuing with next. So that is part of the inner fender well, which is right there. So I need to take out these three Phillips plate screws. If it ever focuses, uh, or if you guys are even in the right orientation, uh, uh, maybe they so are. To cut you. Through that. So those three, if you look at the driver's side, those three Phillips head screws I need to take out. So you can see this upside down, one handed, and another hand tied behind my back wall holding this camera phone. Now I see why GoPros are so dang expensive. Because they're so convenient. You got so many attachments and options for do it yourselfers. This will now allow me access partially to all right there. That is the back side of the housing for the fog lights. Be those three right there. Those two on the bottom. There's a couple more up on top right there. You probably not going to see it from this angle because it's difficult to get to. Alright. Let's see if we can put the camera somewhere where it's not going to mess up. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Now stay, camera, stay. So I'm going to attempt to hit these little markers right there. I've never done this one before, so that's a learning experience. But from the design, it looks like you just push it and you pull one side right here. From the outside. Free. Now let's see if we can get these other ones right here. Right there. Like that. Right, for 
the top ones, that's going to be tough because I'm going to have to go over the top. Get to the top. Yeah. Or just brute strength it, but I don't want to break anything. Black thingy with the with the hole in it. want to put the housing on right, right yet because we got to do a bunch of wiring and luck might have it that I'm not sure what that is we go what was that Get a hole. got a hole got a hole got a hole <laughs> all right that side was plenty difficult enough let's see how bad the other side is there's the other side outside. I'm gonna keep all these clips all together with the splash pan. I know my filming is not the greatest, but you gotta start somewhere, right? Thank you. Seeing I need to eat. Uh, but somebody just passed me two dollars. Huh? Oh, you done did? Oh, <laughs> You want a bite? Half? No, I'm okay. Okay. I'm trying to get this other side out. It looks like it's proving to be difficult. Mm. Let's right, see how bad it is from underneath. Okay. With the Z Creeper! Z Creeper. It's a shoot. It's a seat. It's a creeper. It's a seat creeper. Sea Creeper by Walmart. Which your NASA sitting on it? What the heck? <laughs> Need to fix it. 
they are not sponsoring my uh, my video here. So look out! Look ah. out! Get out of the way, please! Come on. Okay. <laughs> Can you fix it. Fix what? Fix no, the creeper is broken. <sighs> oh yeah, that's right. I gotta take out those three screws right there too. And I almost forgot about that one. Alright, let's see what we can get. Just so after a bunch of poking and prodding and cussing. Ugh, finally got the old one out. Hi! Got this I, I can hold it. I got it. I got a camera. You gonna do, be my, my camera person? Yeah. Uh, you gonna be my camera person? All right. So we're gonna put the relay right here. And it has the handy dandy fuse. Not sure I'm gonna put you on it, but check on that later here's the power cable that connects to your battery there we go right there so we got this around so it doesn't get snagged up any of the mechanicals right there for right now and then later on when we got everything all ran we're gonna hook it all up and test it so this portion of the cable needs to go on that side of the vehicle and if all goes right, then all this would be drag, drag underneath there and do what I need to do. I think I dropped you. Uh, anyways, here it is. Got the passenger side. Get all this stuff uh, unraveled here so we can uh, wire it up correctly. Got to put buddy tabs on this. What the heck? I'm fired. Don't ever forget your buddy tabs. difficult to untake the tape job. I just saw the saddest video ever. Oh, yeah, what, what's the saddest video ever, Jessica? No, the movie. What movie? Max. Poopy and Max. The Poopy took him to a rap show. Oh, yeah? <sighs> That's not very nice. And then he said a bad word that I don't even want to say. I'll just give you a hunch. I already want to hear a hunch or a pinch. Oh, hunch. All right, let's see here. Don't know if I managed to get the shot, but that's where it's at. Oh, 
already up where I need to go. I'm getting up one. And this engine got like a stem just pooped in here. <laughs> oh yeah? Yeah. Smells like a skunk just pooped up in there? Yeah. That's, That's not that's disgusting. That's not a very good smell now, is it, Janessa? It's not very good at all. That's disgusting. It's very disgusting. Yeah, yeah, do this. Yeah, no, my feet. Oh my god. My nose. Right, I do believe it is safe enough to let the jack loose. <laughs> Clear. All right, down it goes. Dude. I might need it back whenever uh, I put that plate back on. What I need to see is how I am going to route that button and all the cables that need to go with it in one of these blank spots. As you can see, I don't have the plus package, but it does the job. So, this kit didn't come with instructions, but it came with all the right equipment to do so. That's why it says, professional install is a must. But uh, anyway, some of us like to do it yourself and get in trouble, so that's what I like to do. And so, I gotta put this thing in one of these. And in order to get to this panel, the back side, it's kind of difficult. But I found, go like this, uh, take off this side panel here like so well just on old clips you can see the clips right there see the cuff uh, there we go I got this kit and unscrew this screw looks like everything will come right off nice and easy Easy peasy, hopefully. Let's try it. Alright, so with that panel removed and this screw right here, let's see if we can gain access to the back of those buttons. And it looks like we can. Pretty cool. So it looks like it's in a housing. Uh, I don't want to take it all apart. So in order to get that housing off, you gotta take out this screw right there. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out that screw. So I was able to pop off that other side and gives me just enough room for it to kick out and actually get access to that screw. Another screw right here. Right there. Another screw on the other side, yep. Another screw on the other side. 
Looks like we're gonna be able to get footage of this one. See that yep. kind of tight area. Should be in the keyword. See if I can position you guys right there. See if I can reposition you. You guys can see it, but I can't. Working blind here. What? Yeah, but it's kind of hard to do it. In the whole video. The whole video I want to take, though. I dropped him. All right, so looks like this is like last it looks like it's able to come loose now. All right. So, it is now loose. What do we do now? Well, I guess we pick the slot that we want to put our button in. And if handy dandy Janessa can come over here. Coming. And hold that right there. While I do... Undo the clip on the top, and same on the bottom. Uh oh, I guess I should use a flathead screwdriver for this one, huh? Or just about that. Like I said, folks, I'm um, no professional, just a hobbyist. So don't do what I do if you know how to do it. Ow. Get a flathead. Can you stop the video now? No, keep it going. I'll just pause it. Now I'm pause. And pause. Why do you got a lie on your head? So I can see. So you can ask me sil silly questions, Vanessa. <laughs> I always ask you silly questions. Yeah. So I like silly questions. You like it? Mm hmm. Silly questions are awesome. It's now silly. Like you! Yeah, they are silly, just like me. My hands are tiring. My hands are tiring. How dare they tire? Alright, look. You can see it? Get it in focus? Yes. We got both clips out. And then this just pops right out. So I chose right next to the anti skid. I can just pop it until you open it. 
All right, so this. Hey, that's the same size. Yeah, it's the same size as the blank that you just took out. And you just put it right there. Bing. I don't want to clip it in there yet because I want to verify that everything works before I set everything up. Stop it? Yep. All right, hour and a half later, I finally had to uh, go in through the main boot. There you go, but I had to remove that bracket right there and the main engine ECU. Now, I don't know if you can see it though. Oh, no, not that way. <clears throat> there we go. Finally in. Yay! <laughs> huh? I'm recording. All right, so I took that bundle of wire with the end of the connection here that came with the kit, ran it through up and over the fuse block, under and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. Find a good spot where it's not gonna do any harm, get in the way of anything. And then we're gonna use electrical tape. Da -da -da. Right here, electrical tape. Sorry for the crappy uh, video quality, because doing it one-handed. Don't have a mini tripod or a GoPro, whatever, to do this with, but I'm gonna do my best of my abilities. Hold tight. Well, I hope he gets it. I oh, know, I'm boring. I'm not quite as entertaining as some of these other YouTuber guys. Most of the time I put on music, but... Yeah, I guess YouTube wants to demonetize you for using music that's out there. Everybody wants a piece of the pie, I get it. Kind of sucks just being in there and quiet and I have to talk about everything. Anyways, it's my first video anyway, so. Positive terminal. 
ran right behind all of that. Connected into the running light. Yeah. See that green and black wire right back there. You want to tap into that green wire. Whatever color that is, with provided clip thingy. I hate using these clip thingies, but in a pinch it'll work. And uh, the grounding right there. Yeah, that works too. That's a good grounding point. I routed up the switch or the relay switch right there with the fuse on it. 15 amp fuse right there. Ding! It's a good fuse. Ran it through this little crevice. Ran it through this little crevice right behind the headlight assembly. Right down there to the bumper. Right at the beginning where we started. Bow! There's new, the new uh, fog light housing right there. We're good. All right. So, driver's side. There's a new switch. We buttoned it all up, put it back together. Everything's good to go. Had a little water there. <laughs> All right. So, turn on running lights. Green light comes on. That's lights that are turned on. Are bright. There they are. What an adventure! Took about six hours for me to do, but then again, I was taking my time and goofing off and stuff like that. I'm not, like I said before, I'm not a professional, but. Yeah, uh, I don't know what happened to my video. Uh, it's the first time I ever shot video on a camera phone. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. Pretty good setup. Gonna send uh, the seller uh, a nice review. Might even put the link in the description. Very, very happy with.
definitely worth it. Looks good. Performs good. Turn off these flood lights. Floods it out. Perfect. I like them. Very good deal. I'll go put the link into that uh, in the video.